Hey, today we're going to continue with our series about relocating to Waterloo Region and we're going to compare the pros and cons of purchasing a condo versus a freehold home. Stay tuned for more. Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Rooney here and on this channel we talk everything real estate from buying, selling, investing to becoming an agent, becoming a broker, even building your own team. You name it, we talk it. Consider subscribing and at any point during the video, check out the link or description below for more information. You may be wondering what condo versus freehold means. Well, a condo is not just an apartment style home, it's any home that is part of a condominium corporation. Condos can be apartments, row townhomes, or standalone townhouses, and the owners are responsible for their own condo fees. A freehold home is one in which there are no condo fees and can be a detached or attached home. Now. Condo fees can vary quite a lot depending on what they cover specifically and the age of the homes the fees go towards. Condo fees can cover as little as exterior maintenance and property management fees to anything from utilities, the exterior of a building, including windows and roofs, parking, building insurance, common elements, and more. The fees are calculated based on the assessed value of each co-owner's unit in the building. Therefore, if the value of your condo equates to 5% of the building's value, you'll pay 5% of the common costs. The value of each unit is specified in the declaration of co-ownership as either a percentage or a fraction. It's also worth pointing out that in addition to covering monthly costs, condo fees also go into what's called a reserve fund. You can consider this a rainy day fund for the condo owners, and the money can be put towards any large or unexpected costs that may arise, like everyone needing their windows replaced. The pros to condo ownership vary with what the fees cover, but you could enjoy not having to mow your lawn, shovel a driveway, pay building insurance, or worry about utility costs. The downside here is that you're spending money on your home every month that is not going towards your equity in that home. You also need to be prepared for unexpected costs. When extensive renovations are necessary and there's not enough money in the reserve fund, the condo corporation could charge a special assessment. This comes as an unpleasant surprise to condo owners because it means having to contribute a large sum all at once. The major pro to owning a freehold home is obviously that you don't have to incur the monthly cost of condo fees. Other than utilities and insurance, the money you spend every month is going towards your own investment. What freehold owners may not like is that they're responsible for everything to do with their home. If they need a new roof or something goes wrong in the home, they have to have that money set aside. They're responsible for their own property maintenance and generally have a less carefree type of home ownership. There is no right or wrong decision when choosing between a condo or a freehold home. Owners just need to consider what's important to them and their monthly costs. Keep in mind that if you're approved for a $400,000 mortgage and you purchase a $400,000 condo with monthly fees of 300 bucks, you may not be approved for financing. Lenders will take the monthly condo fees into account when determining what they believe you can afford every month. I'm an advocate for freehold as I'd rather see that extra monthly cost being put back towards my equity, but there are plenty of people who prefer the worry-free life of condo ownership. One final thing I should point out is that there are freehold homes with maintenance fees. If you live in a townhouse complex, for example, you may be responsible for your freehold home, but there could be a small monthly cost to remove garbage or clear snow from common areas. Ask your realtor about the properties you're considering. They have access to all the information you need. That's all I have for you today. Make sure you check out our first video of the series where we talk about buying versus renting when moving to the region. As always, thanks for tuning in. Definitely subscribe for more videos covering all things real estate. And if you know anyone that this video would be valuable to, please share it with them. Hit me up below or shoot me an email with any questions or comments. And until next time, this is Matt Rooney talking everything real estate. Corporation could charge a special assessment. Assessment. It could charge a special assessment. <laughs>